Once every 18 months, we replace the sacrificial layer on the glass floor. The reason being, we get around about a million visitors a year walking over the glass and it needs replacing. So that when you come and look through it and watch a bridge lift, it looks absolutely amazing. So this normally takes place behind closed doors, but today we've been lucky enough to bring a camera up and we're gonna show you some of the process that takes place. It's made up of four layers plus a double glazed unit. And then on the very top, we have a one centimetre thick uh, sacrificial layer. It's called a sacrificial layer because it's there to be sacrificed for the safety and the strength of the rest of the unit. What that means is if anyone happens to come along and drop a heavy or a blunt item on the top of it, that top layer will shatter none of the structural basis of the glass floor will be impacted. It also means that when we get a million people walking across it every year, it gets scuffed, it gets scratched, so it means that we don't have to replace the whole unit, we just replace a small amount of it, this one centimetre thick layer. There are six on each walkway and each panel weighs just over half a tonne. It said it could take the weight of an African elephant or a small family car. It's twice as strong almost than the wood and the steel that surrounds it. So many people who are nervous about stepping on the glass floor are encouraged once they get here when they realise it's actually stronger than the wood and steel that surrounds it. The process of changing the sacrificial layer for our team is quite a well-worn process. This will probably be the seventh time that we've done it since the installation. The actual process of removing the old and putting it on special glass trolleys and then the new glass, which is obviously already prepared and made, is then thoroughly cleaned and laid on top. And then all of the trim and the uh, silicon seals are replaced thereafter. So the team, many of which were on the original installation, uh, the actual job itself takes one shift. But we like to give a 24-hour period so that the silicon seals uh, can fully cure. This is without a doubt the job that the guys from G&G Glass love doing the most. The guys that work on the repair, they're local guys. Paul lived in the borough, John in Bermondsey, you've got Dev from Leightonstone, Dan from my neck of the woods in Abbey Wood. So to these guys, this is not just a tourist attraction, this is a feature of the community of where they grew up and they're absolutely proud as punch to, to be part of not only the original installation but the repairs ongoing and looking after it.